motorcycle is whatever you want to make it. Turn it on, you can give yourself a real thrill. What's going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. On the beta today. So recently I had the throttle body position settings changed on this thing. And ever since then, the hanging idle issue has been fixed. So that's super awesome. I'm just super stoked to have this thing running right not giving me any problems which generally has since I bought it it's been a great bike today I figured I would head towards a cabin I've been thinking about going and exploring this area for a little bit what is going on with this road How dare you? so anyway the cabin that I'm gonna go try to find is that direction so there's a couple of reservoirs here nearby and I think the cabin is just east of those but I'm gonna see if I can take some legal routes that direction I know that this one doesn't last so I'll have to drop down onto some other stuff This bike is way more fun to ride than the DRZ on this kind of stuff. It just... The DRZ is a blast, don't get me wrong, but this bike feels way better. Feels like I'm riding a dirt bike. I always say that, but it's something that you haven't been able to do until recent years. You, you haven't been able to ride a high performance dirt bike on the streets and highways and then hit the trail. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. What makes this bike one of the most lucrative lightweight dual sports is the transmission, in my opinion. This six-speed transmission outperforms anything on the market, in my opinion. It easily does 65 cruising speed, I mean low, low cruising speed, on the highways and then once you're ready to hit the trails, if you shift it down the first, it, it'll just crawl through just about anything that you want it to. So you don't get that with uh, the other brands. You won't get that with KTM or Husky. Pretty good size hole there. With my DRZ, I actually thought I let the, the gasket too bad, but that was not the case. I actually left it on prime, but I wanted to bring this topic up because ethanol is horrible for anything, but it's especially horrible for bikes, and even more so for bikes with carburetors. You don't want to put ethanol on anything with a carburetor, really. It will separate from the gasoline and it will uh, attract condensation and get condensation in your lines. And the worst thing of all is that ethanol will go bad. The gas and the ethanol separate and it creates a horrible gunk and it will destroy your carburetor we are in the beginning of a mass extinction and that can all be avoided just by running non-ethanol fuel so if you guys haven't already a great way to winterize your machines is just put non-ethanol fuel in them and it'll never really gum up your carburetors or or your fuel injection for that matter Real gasoline is the way to go, especially if you're not going to be riding your bikes very often. 
And that's basically it as far as my winterization. I ride all year round, so it's not that big of a deal, but basically I have a battery tender, which is like 15 or 20 bucks. I have my bikes plugged into those, and then I make sure I run non-ethanol in the wintertime. In the summertime, um, non-ethanol isn't everywhere, so sometimes I'll run some ethanol, but that's only because I'm burning it pretty quick. It's not horrible if you're going to be burning it right away, but in my two strokes I try to stay away from it just in general because the two strokes are a lot more susceptible to running really poorly with ethanol fuel. So what I'm not totally clear on though is I've been running a lot of race fuels like VP race fuel. In fact, there is a gas station that has VP race fuel. It has all kinds of fuels. Um, God, I can't remember the name right now. It's located in Nampa, Idaho. But anyways, you can get like non-ethanol fuel, you can get race fuel, kerosene, just straight from the pump. I've been doing that quite a bit. I don't know if the race fuel is actually non-ethanol. I know it's supposed to be some of the highest quality fuel, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have any ethanol in it. And in the winter time, I'm pretty particular about that. I really don't want any of that in my bikes. But their stuff works really good year round, but I don't know how it'll store. Posted private property. Well, crap. See, that's why I don't know if I like if I like uh, publicly owned land or privately owned land anymore. I used to be a really big proponent of the privately owned land. I really didn't think the government should own any of it, and constitutionally, it shouldn't. It's actually against the constitution to, for the government to own land. In most capacities, it's, <laughs> you can have a, uh, a military base and that's one of the only reasons, but in recent years, I've kind of, I've been in the gray on that one. I don't really know if you, if you get private land, people tend to just block you off and that's, it's really not right. You should be able to travel around. Oh man, another one hunting strictly forbidden should give you information on like who you could contact to see if you can ride on it yeah that's what happens when land is private right there people don't let through traffic go and that's not right that's that's definitely not right well we've got some kind of road right here with no signage on it. It's beautiful out here. This private property doesn't have any signage and I don't know for sure if I even stepped on it because there's a fence right here. But it looks like this is the safer bet. This is still BLM I think. Oh yeah, this is BLM. See, here's what I don't get. There's private property signs all over the place here now. Just because of this one tiny section. This, <laughs> they're keeping people off this area and they only own, they only own about 50 yards of that. The rest of it's all BLM. So they're really, they're really trying to keep people out and controlled hunting, fishing, trapping, or trespassing for any purpose. So I'd have to go straight off that in order to get away from this apparently pretty tyrannical private property owner. 